little update on my grid tie inverter for my wind generator. My meters, uh, the, the little LCD digital meters that I didn't know at the time, but this it puts out too much voltage for the LCD meters and it kept blowing them, so I replaced them with these analog meters. Seem to be working just fine. <clears throat> the wind's blowing right now, I'm getting a charge out of it. Uh, most of the time it reads about when I got a five mile an hour wind, it's reading about 10 volt. But part of that is going down into the grid tie inverter to run the inverter itself. So you can't really go by that, about how much voltage you're putting into the system. I've also updated my solar grid. I just bought two more 100 amp, 100 watt uh, solar panels, and they're going into this bottom power inverter. I originally only had uh, about 100 watt coming in here. Well actually about 80 watt coming in here. Now I've switched the 80 watt into here and, and hooked up a battery system. So if my power ever goes out, at least I've got lights and, and a computer and a TV. Uh, there's a charge controller for it. But this is going back into the grid. So hopefully this will work out. I wanted to show a little proof that these grid time inverters do work. This is my electric bill for August 2013 and on this side this is August 2012. I used 1500 almost 1500 kilowatt hours compared to this month. This last August I got about 800 kilowatt hours. Plus I'm running one more air conditioning unit this year than I did last year. So you be the judge of that. It does work. And this this is just with uh, two wind generators and 80 watt of solar panel. I've just installed 200 more watt into the grid time inverter and we're just going to have to see what my bill is next month. This is a sun 80 watt kit. I bought this uh, about five or six years ago on eBay. I paid three hundred fifty dollars for this. Very similar to the Harbor Freight forty-five watt system, except this is made by uh, Sun and it's eighty watt. This is all I had hooked into my grid last month, and you saw how much lower my bill was. These are my two new panels. These are 100 watt each, and these are now going into the grid. These other panels, I decided to hook up to a small battery system and inverter. So if I got a power outage, at least I've got power. Actually, these are the batteries. These are two deep cycle marine batteries. I got, I got from O'Reilly's for, I think they were $69 each. I tried a big truck battery, they don't work. Let me tell you right now, save yourself a lot of trouble and don't even try it because they don't work. Here's another dead one, and that's what this, this system, my, my uh, inverter drug this down so many times that it's completely dead now. They won't charge themselves back up once they, I don't know, they're just not good for solar or running off an inverter system. Get the deep cycle marines or golf cart batteries, 6 volt golf cart, golf cart batteries. And like I said, those 200 watts are now going into this grid tie inverter, 250 watt grid tie inverter. I think I paid around 80 bucks for it on eBay. Maybe 70, I don't really remember. And I put my digital LEDs on it. These won't blow. But my wind generators spike up to 40 volts sometimes. And it, it will blow in a heartbeat. Alright, well thanks for watching. Signing out and now. And subscribe as always. And I will keep you updated on this system. I plan to keep on uh, adding these 100 watt units to it. Seeing how they're so cheap now. Those were $149 each for the 100, pound, uh, the 100 watt solar cells. And I, pretty damn good deal. And this system right now is running that solar light. And this solar light. Plus it's running this fan right here right now. This oscillating fan. 
you hear the noise from it and the inverter. <laughs> 